Hey, good afternoon, guys. We are here at Wild Time, where we always have a wild time with Chef Allison Davis. But I walked in and she's like, I'm having my bone broth. Everybody's trying to keep the flu and everything else away mm -hmm. uh, as we head into spring and summer. You believe in this stuff. Absolutely. It's so good for your body, um, just for like joint pain, um, inflammation, gut health. You know, you hear about just gut health and everything. Yeah. Um, Dr. Axe is like bone broth, you know, King. So we make it here. We use local um, bones that are pasture raised and then we let it cook on the stove for several days and then strain it and drink it and I mean, I'm telling you, it just gives me that energy. It's like um, replacing it like with that second cup of coffee, you know, in the morning. I'm not going to lie to you. When Darnell first heard you say you make it with bones, he that face he made was like, what? Uh, he's, a little, he's a little skeptic. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to try it out because Tori's bringing us some over to try. But you guys do sell it here. Mm-hmm. We uh, make it by the quart and we typically will freeze it right after we make it so that it has the longest shelf life. Um, and then you can have it in your refrigerator for about five days. And if not, just keep it in your freezer. And it also makes great soups too. So, you know, if you wanted to have soup uh, to just kind of, instead of drinking it, but isn't it great? Super It flavorful. is yummy. That's Darnell, you have to taste it, buddy. There you go. You have to taste it. You're not going to get by with it. Okay, we kind of got a little <laughs> off course here, but bone broth, you can yeah. get it here. And it's good any time of the year, and it will just kind of give you that little boost of energy if you're starting to feel cold or something coming on. I need it. All right, let's talk kids and kids in the kitchen because a lot of kids are going to be home or are home uh, spring break time. Put them to work, right? Yeah, there's no better place for them than in the kitchen. I know moms probably think not, but get them out away from the TV, get them doing something creative, and what better way than to, you know, share and do a recipe together in the kitchen with them. All right, we're doing a biscuit recipe because we're thinking since they're going to be home for spring break or are home for spring break now, that we should have them make us breakfast. Exactly. All right, um, quick or even, start. Or and even dessert, because this is going to be kind of like a sweeter biscuit that you could make like strawberry shortcake, you know? So I like it. It's pretty easy. I mean, I'm not even measuring here just because I've made biscuits so many times, and we do it with kids a lot. Uh, but you just take flour, some baking powder, a little salt and sugar, and those are your dry ingredients. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just start working our wet ingredients in. So a little bit of baking powder, and that's going to be the leavener um, that helps the biscuits to kind of rise. Okay. Um, and then if we wanted more of a sweeter biscuit, then we would go with a little more sugar. If we wanted a more savory biscuit, then we would just add salt, right? Sugar it up, sister. I, I think so. <laughs> I think we want some sweet biscuits this morning. <laughs> That's right. And, and then you're going to add. And then we're going to cut in cold butter. Um, so I like to just take the butter right out of the fridge. It's nice and cold. And then you're basically going to break the butter up into little pieces to where it almost resembles like cornmeal, right? Okay. So this is called cutting in the butter. So this is the part that the moms might not like that yeah. the kids could do for them. Wash your hands, kids. Wash sure, your hands. Sure. <laughs> okay, listen, we're going we're gonna to have to take a break. Coming up at 4.50, we're going to finish our sweet biscuits that your kids can make. And oh, yeah. What are your kids doing this summer? They offer summer kitchen cooking camps. We're going to talk more about that too. But for now, I'm going to enjoy my bone broth. I'm Deanne Stevens, out and about at Wild Time. Back to you guys.